My name is Dennis Eckhart, and I'm an invasive plant steward in the Invasive Plant Management Program at the American River Parkway. I've been doing this for about 10 years now. I've decided I needed to find a volunteer activity for uh, my retirement years and wanted to be outside and on the parkway. I've been living in Carmichael for about 40 years or so and really wanted to do something that made a difference down here on the parkway. An invasive plant is basically a plant that's not a native to this area. It has the ability to reproduce quickly and basically takes over for all the, uh, all the other plants that have been here for hundreds and sometimes thousands of years. Primarily we go after the, the smaller plants, the medium-sized plants that are, uh, can be attacked by a group or an individual in a particular area, pull, basically pulling them out at the right time of year. If they're pulled too late, they'll still release their seeds, so you have to pull them uh, early enough that they won't pop back up, but they also will die as you leave them out on the ground. Okay, this is a Spanish broom plant. Very stiff bristles, uh, hard and pointy, and it gets pods on it about two or three inches long. During the winter time, what we attack to a great extent is called Spanish broom. It's also in the pea family, but it's got a much tougher root to pull, and so we have tools like this. This uh, is a weed wrench. Works basically like the lever. You put the jaws around the base of the plant, and then uh, pull back on the handle. The jaws come together around the, uh, the root and it kind of levers it out of the out of the ground. It's a very useful tool and it works on most of the of the Spanish broom. This time of the year Spanish broom because the ground is so hard not a lot of rain. Uh, the Spanish broom is green and uh, it's the root is really long because it's trying to find whatever moisture is left in the soil. We try to get the root out because then the, the plant will not re-sprout. The ground, it's a, that's a good two and a half, three feet. So it's been down, it's been down trying to get water. A little bit of water, a little bit of moisture down in the uh, in the lower part and the in the ground still. And uh, but we are lucky to get that root out because now that that plant is completely gone, won't come back next spring, and uh, we've made some progress. Red Suspania is a member of the pea family. It has beautiful red flowers and great big six inch seed pods uh, that mature in late summer. Uh, they were sold in nurseries because they're so beautiful and people planted them in their yards. And unfortunately, the seeds escape, fall into the river, float downstream, and then they establish themselves on river banks and on the islands in the American River. They use a tremendous amount of water. They don't provide food for any of the animals. Nothing eats their seeds. They're not nesting sites for birds. They're just a problem on the river. They also impede the water flow because they get so thick and uh, other things, branches and other things get caught in them and it slows the, the flow of the river and causes spread flooding, which is something we don't want. We want the river to flow freely and naturally. If we didn't have an invasive plant management program of some kind, there would be a tremendous proliferation of these invasive non-native plants. We would have a, a much poorer resource. Uh, we would lose a lot of the plants and probably some of the animals that frequent the parkway and that depend upon the native plants. And that's really the importance. We've done a lot. Uh, we've gotten made a lot of progress in some areas, but there's a lot more to do. There's a lot of uh, the potential for new invasive plants to show up and appear. And the sooner we identify where they are and, and get them under control, the better off all of us will be. The Parkway Foundation's website is a good source of information and volunteer opportunities. That's arpf.org, American River Parkway Foundation. Come join us and help make a difference. Uh, it's uh, a lot of fun and uh, very satisfying.